Hallo. <lacht> Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I am going to attempt vlogging um, this weekend because I am going to participate in a really cool event that is called Space Apps Challenge, which is a hackathon organized by the NASA. And um, it is going to be all around space exploration and science and arts as well. So it is taking place all over the world at the same time in I think 200 different cities and uh, you can access you get access to all of the or a lot of the NASA data and you you form teams and then you try to solve um, a problem in space exploration this is my brother who's joining me um, we already visited the, the place yesterday and it's really really cool it's called the it's the motion lab in Berlin and they have so many um, 3D printers and everything and everybody else seemed very nice so we're very excited to be joining I think it's going to be very cool and I'm going to try to take you with me oh and I got glasses let me know in the comments what you think if you think they're cool or if you think I look like a super nerd now <laughs> something artistic so the idea was to make the viewer feel that he is because sometimes on earth we get the feeling that it's we live on earth and then there is the universe out there but we're also part of the universe we're also traveling on a planet through space so we wanted to to make the viewer of our object feel that he is part of a greater thing, right? Mm -hmm. And we took pictures from the, the planets of, of our solar system and extracted the colors from there. And um, yeah. From Mars, yes. This is Mars, yes. So every time, so in the end, it's supposed to all be in this rock. And then when you shake the rock, you go through the planets. Like. Are you happy with the result? Well, it's not the final product. This is just the first prototype that we printed. We um, were deciding on what material to use for the 3D prints and to see how translucent it is. And we're going to stick with this one. And now we're in the process of printing both of the shells so that we can put it together and then put, try to... Also, we had to make it a bit bigger to fit everything in there. And then we're hoping that our product will look nice. It's going to print throughout the night is going to take eight hours approximately then. We hope we can present something nice tomorrow and make a nice art installation. Perfect. Final day of the Space Apps Challenge, and our 3D printer has been printing overnight. So we're Sorry. very, <laughs> so, so we're very excited to see how it turned out. And I change the code like by turning like this. Yeah. It will start from the start. So. Oh, that's so clever. <laughs> Yeah. So we have prepared a little art um, presentation for you. We've been working on a, on a little project 
and um, our goal was to make you make the viewer of our object feel that he is part of the universe because in our daily life you might get a bit tangled up sometimes in our stresses and our deadlines and whatever we have to do but so that we get the feeling that we're here on earth and space is something out there but we, we feel disconnected and so with our object we wanted to make yeah, the viewer feel that we are in fact on, on a rock floating through space at quite some speed actually and um, this is why we chose an, an asteroid and um, the shape of an asteroid is it's called um, Tartatis it's um, flowing through our on a chaotic um, way through our solar system it sometimes gets close to um, Mars and it's been very close to the moon a couple of years ago um, and when you when you shake this object it turns into one of the colors on of the planet in our solar system so this for example is the main colors that make up mercury and then when we shake it again you come to the next planet which is venus and then earth and mars in its bright red colors so please feel free to um, come to us after the presentation when we have the expo and um, because it's not only a visual object, it's about feeling and touching as well. So, and so feel free to come around and try out our object. So, and now we're going to tell you a bit of how we how we made this happen for the weekend. Yeah. So first of all, we um, looked for a three D file of an asteroid. So we found um, uh, this uh, asteroid Tartus. And then uh, we accept, extracted the 3D file, and um, I modified it a little bit so we could put the electronics inside. So I made a cavity on the right. Yeah, and afterwards we uh, just printed it here at this place, and yeah, and we got the final result. And to 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 get the colors, we use the. Uh, eyes on our solar system app from NASA and took screenshots from all of the planets and used the JavaScript source to extract the main colors that make up the planet and then because it was in hex for data format we had to transform it to RGB for the LED that is inside and then now my teammate is going to explain to you the mechanics of the eyes. Okay, so I use the microbit to control the sensor and LED. And for the LED, I use a nail pixel, the ring one. And I also put the battery inside, so you don't need to um, put it with the electric electronic plugs. So you can bring it anywhere you want and put it and shake it. <laughs> and also, uh, so when you shake it, so as she explained, like you can explore every planet. And also. We make this also scored and 3D data on GitHub. So if you buy a microbit, and then you can print any asteroid you like, and you can make your own planet in your hand. So <laughs> that's all. Workshops, 
So maybe kids can learn as a course. Thank you for coming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.